Shalom Aleichem, beautiful and wonderful friends. So we've been speaking about the exile process, where it began and where it's going and some of the mechanics of what has gone on from Adam Rishon, Chet Adam, Gan Eden, our fracture, and, and we're speaking about healing and where we want to get to. And in the last communication, we spoke about how really everything that we need in order to know where we are going and what things should look like. We should be shining bright like a star, should be integrated, fully healthy. And that process of healing takes time. That process of healing is not always so pleasant. That process of healing, it's our responsibility. And when we're speaking about the nature of growth, when we're speaking about the nature of change, I'd like to share something with you. The Bnei Saschar in Igre de Kala, Parshas Vayetze, in the name of the Baal Shem Tov, it's found in, in a number of different places, told us Yankov Yosef, it's found in Chai Yichi of the Sadigura, that there is a principle in Avedis Hashem, and it goes as following, that when you change, when you are growing, when you are experiencing your own liberation, the whole universe is experiencing a liberation. And again, in the world of mysticism, the Zaya, or the different Hasidic masters, Rabbi Nachman, when you experience your own liberation, the universe is singing in joy with you. It's experiencing its own liberation. The Ropshitza, one of my ancestors, Rav Naftali Tzvi Horowitz, he would say as following, that a change anywhere is a change everywhere. That what is on the outside in the meta, in the Olam Hagadol, in the big world, is inside of us, the Olam HaKatan, the small world. And the Medrash Tan Chuma shares with us, just as the world has, or just as the human being has hair, the world has grass and trees. Just as the human being, we have the veins and blood coursing through the veins in our body. The world has rivers and streams and ponds. Just as I have a heartbeat, the world has a core. And it goes on and on, the parallel. In the world of Kabbalah, the Arizal writes in the beginning of Shar HaGilgulim and several other places as well, that the spiritual worlds, the four spiritual worlds that are somewhere, we are within the different spiritual worlds. It's inside of us as well. We have the spiritual worlds within us. The major message is that when you are changing, when you are growing, when you are liberating yourself, when you are healing, the whole world is healing. And the fact is, just through you existing, you are healing the world. Just through you being, you are healing the world. Because the you that's here now has never ever been around before. And the you that's experiencing reality now is bringing around, as we said, new revelations that have never been around before. We obviously want to choose to make those revelations glorious, majestic, magical. It's up to us. We have to take responsibility. And hopefully with the right mindset, the right heart set, having a whole being open to growth in a healthy way, knowing how much we matter, knowing how much we are an integral part of the process, my liberation is our liberation. Our liberation is my liberation. And through Tikkun through healing, through upgrading our behaviors, through upgrading my emotionality, through upgrading my ways of thinking, my beliefs, through upgrading my natural reaction to things, the whole world is as well upgrading. So we're told by Rabbi Nachman Lukutei Maran. And this is something to think about. This is something so deep to think about because there are people out there, they think, well, why, what, what's the point? What, what, what do I add? Just by you existing, you're adding to reality. 
by you smiling, enjoying something, eating a piece of food and enjoying it, having a deep conversation and enjoying it. You're changing the whole world around you in a good, healthy way. And this Nakuda, this point from the Baal Shem Tov, that your liberation is a universal liberation. This teaching from the Baal Shem Tov, a change anywhere is a change everywhere. I know it's given me tremendous hope. It's given me tremendous motivation to remember I'm an integral part of the process. So the more I know how I work, the more I have direction and the ingredients of healing, the more I can bring more glory and more health and happiness and joy to myself, but more than that, my neighbor over there, my friend over there, the person who is a little bit unwell over there. I remember once one of my teachers, Rabbi Singer, he got up and he was dancing and I asked him, why are you dancing? He says, because our friend is not doing so well right now. So when I dance and make myself happy, it will affect him. And me being the nudnik I am, I called up and I asked, how are you doing? He says, you know, over the last couple of hours, a lot better. Okay, Beis As Hashem, we should live with love, light and hope. And Beis As Hashem, we should live with clarity, mamash, dignity and strength. L'chaim, tovim, ulashalom.